Hi friends, I'm Bev Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I thought I would show you my Evernote current products notebook. And Evernote allows me to keep track of all my all the products that Stampin' Up! has and also the ones that I own. I would like to show you, let me just open up a random note and there's a picture of the product and I have put titles with the name of the item, the item number, price, and what catalog it's in and where it is and set of. If it coordinates, um, I note it here and I also write other things that you might need to know about this. It has they're called tags and I created these tags. I put it in as a 1314 so that's where I saw it in the catalog first. It's also in the 1415 catalog. I happen to own this so it has a tag for I own. It is a punch. It is. It has a scallop and it's a tools. Okay well you can get all that from the catalog. Let me find a stamp set. Here's one that has uh, a greeting and pictures. But I also type all of that in. So I typed in each of the phrases and I also um, typed a word for each of the pictures. So there's a bird and there's mistletoe. So I put mistletoe, bird, branch, leaves. Evernote is a wonderful um, free program that can search. If I hold down the control, I, I've got a Windows based laptop. Um, so if I hold down control and so let's see I want to look for stamps and I'm holding, going to hold down the control shift and find I own and so these are all the stamp sets that I own. And so if I'm going to create a card, I might look through my stamps here instead of looking through the actual stamp sets that I have. And you could actually have all your boxes of Christmas stamps in your second bedroom closet. You could write that down. And so you can search your stamps, know where to look for it in your house, and then go find it. But it gets better than that. Here's another place that it's showing what I'm searching for. Stamps that I own that say from. So I'm going to type the word from here. Now I've got all of the stamp sets that say from. Now, but I also have a tag that says to and from. So because I'm searching for from and it's not coming out, I might want to search here and here's all the from the ones that say to and from and that works much better. If I want to search for a stamp that has a flower for an well flowers are kind of too easy. How about bird? I might find all of the bird stamps. Hmm well that one doesn't have a bird. There's a bird there's a bird. I have lots of birds. And it's it's really helpful for me if I'm looking for a particular stamp that way. I am willing to share my notebook with you um, and so that you don't have to type in all of the products that we have. I have um, a notebook for cards and ideas. This is not one that I'm sharing, but you might want to create a notebook for your card ideas. I've got one for color color combinations that I like. I do have one for retired products and I do have one for upcoming catalog that I can't show you just yet but I keep some files in upcoming catalogs so that 
as soon as it becomes available to the public, I can slide those over into my current products and make them available for you. So I will share my current products. All you have to do is email me at bevadams at verizon.net. Um, if you didn't catch that, go over to my web page at bevadams, B-E-V-A-D-A-M-S dot com and look for getting organized and I will be happy to share this notebook with you. Now, I mentioned that Evernote is a free program. You get a certain amount of new notes that you can add with the free version. I kept finding that I was running up against the limits and so I went ahead and purchased the premium version. I think it's forty, forty-five dollars, fifty dollars um, for the year and I have not run into any kind of limits on, on new notes so um, that's very helpful. If you want to share my notebooks, one of the things that I showed you was the I own, the tag I own. Those are the things that Bev Adams, I own. When I share my notebook, I only share the right to look at my files, but you can import these files into your own notebooks. And if you do that, I would suggest that you import these notes, delete the tag that says I own, and then find the things that you own and mark them with a new tag I own. As soon as you type in the tag, it shows up as a tag. Say you wanted to have a tag that says square, all you'd have to do is open up the notebook, type in the word square, and press enter and then as soon as you've typed that in there there will be a tag here that's square. So if you want to be able to edit the notes you'll need to put it into your own notebook. If you would like me to share with you come on over to bevadams.com and send me an email that says you would like to share my notebook and I'll get it to you right away. Thank you very much. Bye.